So now insert this coding part. The first thing we are going to see how to add a blink cap. So this particular Arduino file also here we have a particular blink cap section. Like go for sketch, go to libraries, manage libraries. Let us wait till it get open. Blink. Now from this blink here I am getting many uh, inputs. Okay, like blink async, blink async wm blink for chinese then um, blink build a smartphone app for project in minutes so this is the uh, exact thing which we will be able to work so here it has been mentioned which it supports wi-fi dle bluetooth ethernet gsm usb serial everywhere it works so just click on it select the version whichever you need click on install so here it is already installed therefore i am going to close this and finally this will be the particular code so this uh, requirement is if you are using any of the blink template on your own from this qblink.cloud else no need the coding starts from ash include esp8266 wifi.h this is to enable the wifi of this particular device then blink simple esp8266 like the blink app also will be in integrated with ESP8266 so both of them are required here I am using the DHT file uh, this will be the library I think in previous versions I have shared you this particular library you can use the same thing as defined DHT type DHT11 so whatever the module I am using it is DHT11 so this will be the particular module then after that the DJ DHT pin will be connected to DHT0 then uh, dht it is meaning that this particular file here this particular file will be replaced as this name small dht within bracket we will be calling the dht pin as well as dht type therefore both has been combined and it has been prepared now hereby we have to add our authentication token which has been received in our mail so get back to the mail copy that authentication token and save it so that's it then ssid password so id of this wi-fi here i am using the hotspot from the system then password so the password of the respective hotspot i have been provided over there then comes with void setup so here i am using the baud rate as uh, 9600 to receive the data into my serial monitor then dht.begin so the dht function will be started blink.begin which starts the authentication ssid and password now hereby i am applying the void loop then comes with the float so here i am indicating this h for humidity t for temperature dht.read humidity dht.read temperature will be that function then current humidity and current temperature will be read and printed in the serial print and after that the blink will blink dot run this is to entirely run all the blink options so that will be the function and along with that to run continuously i have given blink dot virtual write so from the controller it is writing the data towards my cloud and from that what and all i have selected is v0 humidity v1 temperature now let me check that a slight change is there so here v1 is temperature and v0 is humidity yeah that change has been applied so here we can note at the uh, this particular part which is the pins we have selected so finally everything is ready now go to tools select the port select the board and upload the code so in that meantime check the pin which we have connected it is d0 hereby i am going to connect the dhd so where comes the data pin at d0 then comes with the ground and the power supply with vn yeah now hereby our node mcu and everything is ready and hereby i am going to uh, run this particular app on the top right corner you can see a play button just run the app till now it is in offline once the code is uploaded and the wi-fi is connected we can see 
the same data will be replicated over there. So this takes a quite while, a quite while in order to uh, upload the data towards the controller. 92% and 100% it has reached. Open the serial monitor. It is 9600 and hereby we have received the data. Now hereby we can see that entire percentage as well as the temperature in a digital format. So 24 degrees Celsius and 69 percentage as humidity. Now hereby if I try to change, take some time to change but anyway the change is ready. Now the humidity has changed to 95 percentage and the temperature has changed to 25 percentage sorry 25 degrees celsius now it takes some time to reduce but whatever the reduction is happening it is instant so it has come to 89 85 82 80 79 77 the reduction is parallelly happening up over there it has reached till 75 74 till it will reduce 73 24 instant updates are available on this so in this way only we will be reading the data with the help of blink app now the same thing if you want to just make it up in the form of write here uh, whatever we have selected initially i was having 2200 and now i am having only 1500 so it is not that once whatever we have used uh, it will be completely gone if i go and delete it again the charge will be applied so click on delete and therefore hereby again it is back to 2200 now hereby i am going to select the switch button so this is for one button let us try with one more button yeah now two buttons are ready for each and every button the same thing here i am going to select digital pin and from that i am selecting d naught okay no need of d naught i will select uh, d1 and d2 one is d1 it is a switch not a push button so now i am converting it any labels requirements we can make it hereby i will make it as l1 click on ok now l1 is ready for pin d1 same thing for d2 d2 switch l2 rest everything is fine click on ok now two switches i have configured over there hereby we can see the two buttons which is in a green border line now i am taking this led And I am connecting this LED towards one on ground, one pin is on ground, the other pin is on D1. Let us disconnect this DHC, other pin is on D1, and the other pin is on D2. Now, however, we can see that particular lights. Now, hereby I did not upload any of the code. Till now it is in the same format and the same API key everything. I am just going to run the simulation. Both the statements are in off. I am going to tap it on. So now one light has been turned on, turned off. Another one has turned on. Now the other one also has turned on. Now I am turning on both. Both has been turned on at the same time. So for this there is no need of code at all. Here itself we can design. And within this app itself, we will be designing and we will be selecting the number of pins which are all required. And from that, we can make whatever we want. Now, on to the same thing. I'm just going with a slider. I have made this slider a little bit larger. Now, tapping on it, it varies from 0 to 1, 0, 2, 3. Taking the digital pin 1. When it is busy, we can select it. No issues at all. So, all of the uh, sections are correct. Click on OK. Execute it. Just I am moving. 
now you can see that particular light is glowing so whenever i am decreasing some brightness changes there only slight brightness we will be able to see that variation now i am decreasing once again i am decreasing it has turned off slightly moving the brightness is slow increased increased so this will be the maximum whenever it reaches near 255 itself that da uh, data will be maximum because even though if you are going with pulse width modulation all the uh, digital pins inside the node suit is pwm only so whenever it reaches maximum of 255 definitely that will be varied but here uh, it is the maximum value is 1023 that can be reduced also 225 click on ok click on play so some changes we can see in a lower level my new changes now the light is glowing now the light is off so this is another method of control this kind of functions only we will be completely seeing inside the blink app and in this way only uh, here we will be creating all the applications by using the blink app we have still many widgets like uh, gps sending mail sending sms anything can be done but the only thing is and the problem is we will be able to create only in the form of an app not in the any of the web page or any of the site or they don't have any other login options through web pages also so completely this can be monitored with the help of app let it be any kind of phone or uh, microsoft or android or it may be iphone anything anywhere we will be able to integrate and work it as easy as possible thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel